Well, we hope you like that. That was a bit Jurassic Parkish. It was good, wasn't it? The Beast. Oh, South African front row forward. And this, basically, you need to be a front row forward to move these things, or do you? Cool, funky. Lots and lots of lots going on on, top, on the face of the bat. Very cool. Just give you a little look on the side. Obviously, you can see that it's it's red, and that's the main colour here. And again, as we go around the back, we've got a very funky beast on the back, and that looks very cool. Cool. The other thing we probably ought to talk about is the old see-through handle and the see-through grip. Sorry going to be a bit marmite for some. Right, There's a little bit going on here team, so we better find out a few technical specifications now. Let's have a look. Reg, to you. <clears throat> so the big beast, um, let's have a look at it. I would say in terms of profile though, yeah. um, it's still quite similar uh, okay, to mid, others in the range. Mid sweet spot? Yeah, I, 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 I think yeah. whilst it is very beast-like in terms of graphics, colourways, which are all really dramatic. Yeah. The actual bat itself, I would say, is a similar shape yeah. to, to most in the range. Um, profile wise, still got the high spines, still got some big chunky edges, but I wouldn't say this is too much bigger than the other the other ranges, uh, the other bats in the Kookaburra family, really. Okay. Um, however, we do need to get a bat mallet on this because that's going to be quite important to seeing how it how we get on. Yeah. Um, well, that is quite that's quite pingy, um, but again, in that middle spot, yeah. in that middle sweep zone, you're getting good return straight out of there. Pickup wise. Um, it actually feels really, really balanced. And I actually think it feels a lighter pickup than you think it's gonna be. For all the facade of the big beast, my personal opinion is it actually picks up really nicely, Ooh. really Ooh, nicely. We've got, we've got a contender. Um, from a weight range point of view, standard beast is gonna come in between 2.8 and 2.11. Yeah. Again, similar to other things in the range. Um, for those that want something a bit more bigger and chunkier, you talked about the front row forward. I think the big version of the beast, which we do have here with us, that's gonna give you just a lot more wood. It's a warning, running. ladies and gentlemen, but it's in red. Big red warning sign. You're gonna need your big muscles. Same profile, just yep. more wood in the back. You can see that probably a bit more in the edges. We can see that here, in that hitting zone there, those edges are just that bit thicker than in there, yeah. which is the standard. And that's where the, that, that's really where you want it. So you're just going to get more, even more value if you can pick it up and control it. And that's why you'd go for a bigger, a bigger bat. Yeah. Um, you've got your flecks of colour, little flick change there. You've got your reds and your blacks have just changed around there as well. So it's quite a nice little touch. Yeah, it's good to differentiate it. Good. Um, likewise, if you if you want if you want the feeling of holding a beast but aren't quite up to the, the £2.10, £2.11 weight ranges, they do offer uh, a light version of the Beast, which is maybe a slight contradiction in terms. Yeah. However, um, biggest differences, blade length. Profiles are the same. Blade length, a little bit shorter. That takes away a couple of ounces. So the light version is gonna be available in probably 2.6 to 2.8 mentioned before on previous videos, really suitable for younger players, anybody going from a harrow into a short handled bat, that's a perfect weight range for your first adult bat. Um, so you can feel like you're walking out with a beast, but it doesn't feel like a beast in your hand because you've still got that pickup. Yeah, like again, little light, light touches, light touches with the, the white coming in yeah. round, the, round the bat, just again to differentiate, make it look a bit funky. I think Down also, I mean, you, you talked about Rich in the intro there, the grip. Yeah. Um, the grip, you know, not we, we don't see this really with any other manufacturers. It's something quite unique to Cook at the moment. Yeah. Um, I quite like what they've tried to do. You know, underneath this grip, if we roll it down, you'll see. Can we get that down further? Look. That's how they create that imagery and, and graphic into the into the handle. Um, 
you know, they've got a, a, a vinyl print almost underneath on the handle, which is then wrapped around with the transparent grip, which means those images come through. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's a bit funky. different. It is, isn't does it? it work as a grip? I think it does. Yeah. You can have gloves on, so it's slightly irrelevant. It's, I think it's Quirk. graphically quirkiness, isn't it? Quirky. Cool. Um, I, I'm gonna go. I have to go straight to what I use. And I wouldn't normally. I wouldn't normally go for something like a beast, but no. given its pickup and given how light I feel it is, I think you can actually get quite a bit of wood for your for your pickup. So you're a fan, aren't you? Well, I think I think I am a fan. Yeah. Right. Um, would I become? I'm not. It's just the graphics. You've really got to be bold and brazen to maybe walk out with that. <laughs> I'm not sure. What do you think? <laughs> I think all the manufacturers are funking up their colours. I think you can probably get away with the internet. Probably. With that. You just have to deliver, sure. Yeah, well, you've probably got to deliver. You've got to back yourself. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I quite like it. It's quite nice. Um, it's a good balance. I'm going to say it's a very similar balance across the Kookaburra range, the Kahuna, the Ghost, and, and the Beast. I don't feel a huge amount of difference in the three of them. Um, I like this one. I think it's a nice shape. And I'd give it a little. I'd give it a little try. I think at the moment I'd be. What is this? Mm, yeah, I'm sort of. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. So we've got a yes and a tempted. It's not bad, is it?